As a company, we've expanded very quickly. The original team was me and a group of scientists from Los Alamos, so about six people. And now we're over 70 people. We're currently in a headquarters that we're bursting at the seams. We raised $30 million last year, which means we're well capitalized. Uh, we can continue growing the company. Uh, and I think the reason we've grown so fast is that um, the geospatial world is on fire right now. Uh, there's tons of sensors going up that I'm really excited about. There's radio frequency sensors, radar sensors, and of course a whole host of, of Earth observation sensors, optical sensors. We can take those pixels, this mass amount of data that's coming off these sensors, and build some real value for customers. And the vision for the company is to build uh, what we like to call a data refinery, um, where we pull in multiple sources of data, we clean up that data, and we put it in a format that you can run models on top of uh, to understand complex global systems. Our sweet spot is looking at supply and demand factors for uh, large commodity supply chains. So trying to understand raw materials, uh, where they come from, how much is being produced, where they're being stored, um, how they're being processed, um, and then how they move around the globe. A lot of work has been going into that, looking at how we make it really easy for scientists to um, go grab huge amounts of data um, and throw huge amounts of processing at it. Um, and even though that's very technical, uh, the reason that that's interesting is that um, when you're looking at country scale analysis or global scale analysis, uh, you need a considerable amount of computing power to throw at it. We're also working on ways where we can add some intelligence to those pixels. So building different layers sort of um, think of it as Lego building blocks that a scientist can use so they don't have to build everything from scratch every time. So they're working with something uh, as a higher level product. So we're working on not just um, allowing scientists with a huge amount of geospatial knowledge to go access a lot of pixels and throw processing at them, um, but making this geospatial science problem accessible to a broader set of people. So turning geospatial science into a data science problem.